ចាអ្នកប្រាពីអារម្មណ៍បងមកទឹកបានទេនៅពេលដែលយើងដឹងទីលទ្ធផលយ៉ាងណាតើមានអារម្មណ៍យ៉ាងម៉េចដែរចា
and welcome Suchita. Hello, Suchita. Hello, teacher and everyone. Yeah, Suchita mm. is a high school student. She get A. Yeah, wow, congratulations. Thank and, you uh, so Suchita, much. <laughs> Suchita is a mm. high school student in uh, Oumbal High School in Monti Minche Province, a superstar in Monti Minche Province. So today, that is, we, are, uh, we are lucky to meet our superstar. And uh, besides just only uh, studying, Suchita also involved a lot in community development and even especially in debate as well. She also the candidates of debate in Vohachnam and other competition uh, to make sure she's not just only involved in class activity, but also in extra curriculum as well. And nice to meet you, Suchita. And the second speaker is uh, Chili. Hello, Chili. Hello, Bo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Chile also the young superstar from Simri province. She also got uh, A, grad A. Wow, that is so amazing today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Chi Yi, she also involves in a, a debate as well. She studied debate at ACA course. And beside that, she also good at math and win a lot of medal, uh, uh, a lot of uh, prize from uh, mathematics uncle uh, competition. So that is a... Uh, amazing kids <laughs> and really uh thank for joining us tonight and the third speaker is a uh, visna visna currently he is I in uh, japan yeah he was a university student in panyasasra university and then now he continue his study at uh, japan so anyone want to express something before we start okay well so i just having a short expression uh, firstly i would like to thank to bong sopik for having me today and nice to meet the other two speaker i think maybe very potential one because like they get a so now i'm not at one and i feel like so excited to be here and i hope like we will have a nice discussion today thank you okay so uh Vishna, what time are you right now in japan so currently, um, uh, we are different to our Japan is two hours ahead, nine, nine p.m. right now. Okay, that that's great. Uh, okay, so actually, our audience they are really curious about uh, how do you get A and how you maintain your study as a high school student. And then, so uh, let's start with the first uh question. Actually. How do you prepare yourself to get grade A? So, Chita, can you share something? Yes, thank you, teacher, for the question. So, to me, to get A, it was actually, I have to put quite an effort, but it was not really hard. It's actually not, I mean, it's possible for everyone. <clears throat> so, first, um, I'm sorry, I'm sick, so my voice might be um, a bit. Uh, so, first, you have to have a good mental health. I mean, it's really important to <clears throat> to have a good mental health because I'm sorry <clears throat> um so when so when you have the good um mental health you will be happy and it will be easier for you to study and to prepare yourself to get that a grade that you want and so the second thing is that um, when you're in class, you have to actually pay attention to what the teacher is teaching. And you might you have to take notes and understand each lessons from the beginning of the year. For example, in grade 12, we have lessons like for ex in math, in math subjects, we have limit, duration, integral, and so on. So you have to understand each lessons from the beginning. So when you come to the um like the end and um, difficult lessons, it will be easier for you to um, catch up with all those hard lessons. Um, also, for subjects like memorization, for example, biology and history, you need to understand them first, so it will be easy for you to memorize. And for here, I have some tips. You can use you can use flashcards. You can write it on your own. You have a paper, and then on on another side, you you can write questions and. On the back side, you can write the answer. So when you want to review, you can use that flashcard and look at the questions and ask yourself, try to answer the questions by yourself. Or you can also use the app called Study Smarter. If you go to App Store or Play Store, you can type Study Smarter. 
then you will see the app and that app is really effective because I use that one to um, to make my own flash cut and to review um, biology and history. Um, also, another tip is to record yourself, um, review, um, I mean, like you can record yourself on the voice recording on your phone. Um, you read the questions and answer and then it, it will be really convenient for you. You can listen and review whenever and wherever you are. So it That's means it. we have to put a lot of efforts on mm -hmm. self-studying, right? Yes. Okay. But actually but you don't have to put pressure. I mean, it's um, it's not so much pressure. You can just study hard, but also um, have, you, have your own free time. To, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, it's easy, right? It's easy uh, for smart students to get A but it's not really easy for uh, uh, the, the, the other students. So how do you think about that, Chia Lee? Can, can you add something? Yes, well, uh, for this part, uh, it's really interesting. Like, it's easy for smart students to get A, but really hard for others who think that they are not talented or something. Uh, I totally agree with this because uh, only smart students only those who think that they are smart, only those who think that they are uh, confident about themselves can achieve A. Um, and also, um, fun fact is that I think everyone can be smart, you know, because uh, those who think that they are weak, they just lack of practicing and motivation. Everyone can be smart. So I agree that it is easy for smart students to get A, but I also think that everyone can be smart. So, so how possible that uh, the 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 students are not talented and to get a how how? Um, I think that uh, first of all they need to understand themselves, like right? uh, what subject that they are lack of, and then they need to practice more, do some more practice, and know their weak point and strong point. And uh, for example. When uh, it was a month away from Bado, my chemistry was like going down. So mm -hmm. I had to like, uh, get back on track. So what I, what I do is uh, I try to get all the basic back. So I try to learn all the basic of every lesson. So that is really important and help me to get back on track. So if, if you are lost the track, so just learn the basic again and you will easily uh, get all the hard one yes yeah so um, uh, uh this can night, i can answer you... this okay okay so you can yes Go ahead. so what you said was was very true i also agree with her you have to find your own strengths and weakness so you can work on that and also if you like if you have a short period of time to prepare then i suggest you can do past papers like the um the last year's exam papers it will help a lot because um usually grade 12 grade 12 exams they have the same um sample i guess like they have limit integral and the end will be function so if you do the last the past papers exam then you will get to understand what type of questions or what type of, of exercise will be um will be put in the exam so that that will be really helpful too yes, so exactly. Yeah, it, it means we have to understand our strength and weakness. Strength and weakness, it means refer to our subject, uh, the, the, the subject that we're going to have an exam or what. Uh, Vishna, can you share us about that? And uh, can you tell us about uh, your experience when you also in the Badoop as well? How are you really nervous about? Yeah, honestly, um, I'm not that, you know, A student or something. I'm not that smart in high school, but from my past experience from the not the good student. So I, I, I think like uh, it, it doesn't mean like for smart student, it's very easy, honestly. But for like those who are not smart, it doesn't mean like you cannot get it. But I believe in like the more you practice, the more you get it. I mean, like if you try your best, but you know, like most, most, most people, they, they just complain that I'm not smart. That's why I cannot get A. But they, they forget like to try because like, you know, great A is, is proof that those people, they try so hard for their uh, like study. Every day, 
free time. They don't have any free time. They just focus on their study, practice a lot of mathematics, like Jita said about review uh, history. And one more thing is, you know, like study is not about only you are like work so hard. I mean, like some people, they might be study like so hard in like extra class or something, but it is must be like uh, you study smart as well. It's, it's not only like how hard you are, but it must be how smart you are. So it must to be uh, together. And I still believe that like the more you practice from day to day, it will like improve like progressive, like from little by little. Because like you cannot be aggressive in one day and you get everything. Because like I believe like the more you are well prepared, so the more you get. If you fail to prepare, you also like prepare to fail. It is what I learned from my past experience. And I also apply it into university. Yeah. Okay, so it means we have to put a lot of effort and also uh, a lot of practice uh, besides just only class, right? Yeah. So actually there has a lot of subject like mathematics, physical, chemistry, Khmer, history, and uh, a lot of subject and also English as well. So actually Kita and Gigi is, uh, I can say your English is really amazing. So how can you manage your time to study those subject and also English as well? So well, uh, for me, uh, when I was in grade 12, uh, when the year start, I already quit English for a while. And also I quit Chinese because I think I want to just focus on Bado uh, first. And also, uh, like every day, the way I improve English is that I listen to uh, like some motivational video or meditation video, but they speak English literally every morning you know, or before I go to bed or when I take shower. <laughs> I love listening to them because it's really calm, you know, it's helped me to relax. Yeah, and also for Baduk, we also have English subject. So the way I, so the way I improve my English also to get higher point uh, for English subject for Baduk is that I listen to some video from uh, our senior you know, he shared some tips about uh, about how how the tests work and like yeah, they give us some tips. So and I and I also like uh, practice the old test from the previous year from 2014 till 2021. Yes, so it makes me kind of understand the overall how does a test work. So it means uh, you feel like you stop a while studying at school for uh, English subject, but you improve yourself on self studying on listen to the uh, audio, listen to the uh, watch the video from YouTube about English, something like that, right? Yes. So so it means you already have the backgrounds of English uh, performance already. Yes, uh, I have studied uh, before since I quit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's time for you to push yourself to get a aim for a right. Yes, teacher. Yeah. So how about uh, Chita? Um. Yes. For me, I am quite different because actually I didn't quit my English class. I still, um, while most of my friends quit English class when they were in grade twelve, I didn't. I still take my um, uh, English private school, and also I also study English at my. Uh, high school and I, I actually pay attention when in, in the school and also when I'm at home I like to eat I listen to music English music and I also watch English movies you and sing? sometimes and sometimes when like I'm on social media when I use Facebook or messenger I will text my friends in English so it's like the way I can practice with my friends to like on social media even even though they they are far away from me but we can actually still um, communicate and I can actually learn from that. Uh, also, sometimes when my friends are busy, I actually have an app uh, called, I think it was replica something. It's like a, a robot texting. I don't know, like when you text that, it will automatically answer you. It's like your friend. You can have that friend, like whenever you text the robot, will the AI will actually answer your questions. And it also um, was a way for me to um, 
improve my English. Yeah. That's yeah, I, I feel like both of you is not just only good at English, but also in the technology, uh, the recently updates of technology. And you also join a lot of uh, extra uh, activity, uh, for example, like debate and also the uh, mathematics competition and uh, community development, especially in terms of uh, the te technology. So how can you manage all of the uh, time or schedule? Um, for me, so... I, I actually have class on weekdays and my class are actually packed because I have um, the class at school and also I have extra class. So I study until 7 p.m. in the evening for, for Monday to Friday. But I do take the weekend's day. I only study for two hours, let that extra class on, uh, on the weekend. So I have plenty of time in the weekends to do what I enjoy doing. And that that's when I do some extra curricular activities. I I actually um, join a club called SISC and also join debate competition in Rohatch now. Um, I tried joining some math competitions too because I feel like um, despite, um, I mean, besides, um, besides being good at school, I also, I also need a soft skill. So I want to improve myself, both hard skill and soft skills and to improve my hard skills, I can um, study at school, I can study hard or use the study smart technique. And for the soft skill, I, I need to go out and do some outdoor activities so I can meet new friends and um, like have new experience so I can communicate with other people well. Wow, I feel like the high school life uh, is really uh, amazing and beautiful. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, Chi, Chi Yi? It's not for me. Uh, I was involved in uh, social curriculum before, like since twenty twenty one. Like I involved a lot in twenty twenty one, but in twenty twenty two, since the battle start, uh, uh, I gave up to be volunteer in lots of places like e robot and Korean came uh, because I, I have to do lots of stuff and. I just want to focus more for Bado because uh, my basic is like, it's not really good. So I just want to focus more on it. And I also have to join some math competition like Uncle Mathematic Competition or um, OSC, yes, like that. And moreover, I also have to join a Taekwondo class at the weekend as wow. well. Yes. Can you fight? Yes. And uh, like the way I manage my time is it's not really easy. I have to think a lot because I want to join a lot of activity uh, like for SISC, yes, like Chita said, she joined at uh, Bunti Mien Chai. In Simri also have SISC. So I also joined SISC, uh, but because uh, I don't have enough time, so I just got a chance to join half of the you know, uh, just uh, I didn't got to finish the project. But uh, moreover, I also joined as a member of Read Club Cambodia, which is a club in Cambodia in Siem Reap. Like we gather uh, lots of youth and we read book together. We do presentation every Sunday morning. But uh, it is because of uh, I have class on Sunday morning. So, yes, I didn't get a chance to join it again. So what I do is I try to make things up uh, rather than uh, blaming myself of not being able to join that. Like, I try to make things up by uh, trying to make myself read every day, uh, 10 minutes a day, yes, do something like that to make it up without making myself feel like, I haven't got to do, to do it, I haven't got to join social activity, but instead to make myself feel a sense of uh, trying, yes, doing something productive. So, I mean like you have to put something in front of you, right? So focus on the part of exam first, and then the rest is about uh, just 30% or 20% percent to focus on. And uh, business, actually uh, the great first student here, 
I mean, this year, they already affected by COVID-19 since 2020. Uh, that time, they was uh, grade 10. So, I mean, they affect almost two years. So, is it an excuse for them to get A or study English or any uh, technology? Or that is an opportunity for them? How do you think about that, Vishnu? Actually, I heard about this a lot. And I feel like sometimes I feel this one is just an excuse because, like, by the way, like, as you can see, these two guest speaker, they get a, they also suffer like other as well, right? And many people also the same. So it just actually because like now we, we can say like internet of thing that everyone like can search uh, in on internet and also do a self study. And even like I'm when I was in high school, mainly like I mean like almost sixty percent. I think maybe the other two as well. We study by ourselves. Mostly we do practice because like we go to. The, the class just to get like the basic one like for the tip to uh, like uh, we, we finding out the answer or how to solving those problems and we do by ourselves or like self study with our friend or something and the other one is about like technology I can say like everyone mostly like now they are on the technology they're using like uh, social media, they're using like search engine, like mainly it's good goal or something to search for more. And like my friend or some some other people are, are like uh, arounding me, they're doing like research by themselves, I, like of new technology or something. Maybe like like for me, like we are like a uh, university student, we're searching about financial technology, something which is uh, fintech or like report i like many stuff about like maybe like now is a stock market or something it's also like a technology that's why i say like sometimes like some student they just making the excuse to themselves because like wherever you can study you can like even learning english sometimes you go in school but you never talk so how can you improve your english something like that so Sometimes in your house, you can speak alone in front of the mirror or something. It's also the good way to improve your English as well. And there are many, many ways to improve your all the subject that you've been studying. And one more thing I forget to mention about the previous one is about like, sometimes if you are like the poor student that you know yourself, don't be hostile. You can go in to ask your friend who is like, like I can say like Chiyi right now or Chita, they are so good with mathematics or all the subject, right? Ask your friend, you can ask, don't be hostile. Sometimes you are afraid or asking, you are like feel ashamed or impressing like, why we are the same? And then I go in to asking you about that. It's not that good. If you ask poor, go in to ask them. Okay, Chita, I don't know about this one. So can you show me or uh, tell me or like find uh, tell me a good tip because like they are smart student right so they 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 might be have a good way to telling you to easy understand sometimes your teacher explain you it's like it, it doesn't mean like they are the but maybe your friend they know you best so they can tell you in very good way how to do this one it's i believe in that because in university sometimes my professor like because they are so like professional the, the way that he's explained is very professional way. But when I asking my friend, he explained me in very good way that make me easy to understand because we are student, we are the same level, something like this. So for my advice, please stop actions and start doing. Start from now, it's not tomorrow. Tomorrow never come, yes. Okay, so it may start from now. That, uh, that is not an excuse. It's an opportunity for them to improve themselves into the digital era. So, uh, Vishnu, without English or technology or digital, uh, what will the challenge for all of the students after they graduate from high school? And one, one question I want you to start is who you are right now. We are 21st century. We are in the digital era. It's very important. And one more thing is, when you study English or other foreign language, you must be start with why. Why you study that? It's not only for high school, but it's for more than that. And I have many reasons about that. But the thing is, what is the challenge in university life or other? Because like, you know, foreign language, mainly uh, in Cambodia, we are focused only like uh, English. And now we have moved to the other level is about Chinese. But 
I want to talk only English. English is very important for you in, uh, it's not only in high school to get a good grade like Jita or Jiyi, but in university, we use it a lot. Because like, we are university, it's like you study in the universe. Because like you have to study as a globally. You are like international student, it's not just university student, but internationally. So you have to learn a lot about the world. It's not only in Cambodia, but all the world, all the continent. And I have like uh, the four men challenging. That is you don't know English or you cannot like, you know, like don't understand anything about English or very poor, so you can improve. But the four main challenge is about the first one is about research and doing report because research is not only about Khmer language because you know like Cambodia is developing it's not have a lot of scholar or like the one the, the author who writing the book for us to read or like other like many success people or something like this especially also the news that we always search on the good in, uh, good call to find more. So when you know English, you can type in, in English. So there are many soft have come, coming up and you also have to find the good reference as well. Because like if you don't know English, you don't know which website is good, which application is good, which people is like can be reliable soft or something. And doing report, you cannot just use Google Translate to, to help you all the time. You have to do by yourself. Or you cannot copy and paste all the time. Control C and Control V is it's not that good, right? Most of the university like in Cambodia do this one. So stop I, or, this. I, or, I also did it. Yes. And it's a joke like my degree is thanks you to copy and paste, something like that. And second one is about presentation and discussion. If you don't you're not good in English, you will be, you know, like no confident to speak it out. When you do presentation, you will be shaken, hand, you will be afraid, and also discussion. Sometimes you really have a good answer, but you cannot discuss with other because you don't have confidence to talk. But in here, I just recommend you guys be confident no matter what. No matter people laughing about you, just speak it out. Like me right now, when I'm talking, sometimes my friend laughing at me, but I don't care. What I care is my mistake to you guys. You can get it. You can understand it is enough for me. And the third one is about opportunity. It's very important because as you are studying in university, it's not only that, maybe you can find more opportunity to study abroad as well. It is very important. Or what's more, that is like, what always do is like joining meeting as the regional or international lead, like uh, as in meeting. And you know, like this year, Cambodia is the half, like there's a lot of uh, license official something that is we call LO to, you know, like greeting, like uh, many rep representative from the other countries, something like this. It is opportunity for you to practice your English and be represent your country or something. And last but not least is about communication. When I was in Cambodia, I just like, can speak in Khmer with my friend and something like this. But you know, when you know English, you can have a lot of friends from other countries. You can be the international citizen. It's not just Cambodia, Cambodian anymore, but internationally. Like me right now in Japan, every day I speak only English, something like this. So it's very important for you. So I have only four. The first one is research and it is challenging, research and report, communication and lost uh, some opportunity and also like your present uh, presentation and discussion yeah Paul. wow wow that that's a lot i mean like we just only know uh, english and uh, some technology we have a lot of uh, a potential in research and report presentation and discussion opportunity and also communication without those kind of tool we cannot reach our goal uh, for some time and especially to represent our uh, cambodian our nation and a lot of even a lot of opportunity and then we really need these kinds of potential use and back to our kid uh, Suchita and Chiyi actually uh, yes I'm really appreciate all of you you get a you are really good uh, at English and technology but right now you are in the terms of finding scholarship and also to the university life so are you really worried about your future 
again, are you worried about your future to get the scholarship, to get the university or choosing major? Um, I will answer the question first. So to me, I'm <clears throat> actually worried because I actually have a major in mind. I want to study medicine, which means that <clears throat> To start to be in medical field, I have to study very hard so I can pass the exam. And it will take me about eight to 10 years to finish um, the medical school. And I'm worried that I might make the wrong decision that this time. So if I made the wrong decision, then it, it will be really hard to come back and um, decide to choose another major because it will I will waste a lot of time. <clears throat> but I still am confident that um, I might not be wrong because it's it's actually have always been my dream to become a doctor. So this time I want to um, um, achieve my goal and <clears throat> just pursue my dreams because even though it, it might be hard, like this major might be harder than other major, but it's actually what I want. It's my passion. So I will, I mean, I can sacrifice for that. I, I dare to face the obstacles if um, because it's what I want to do. And also I want to back to about the experience like Bong Disna said, I actually was once a um, exchange student to Japan too. I was in Japan for five months and I actually English was really important because for my exchange program, they gather um, students from different countries like the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, um, India, Bangladesh, and this time, um, why I said English was important because inter it, um, English is an international language, right? So everyone can speak English, and we were all from, uh, we were all uh, from different na nations. But since we can all speak English, it's really convenient for us to to talk. So I I just need to learn English. I don't need to learn. Um, Japanese to only speak to Japanese. I don't need to learn Vietnamese to only speak Vietnamese. So um, with only English, I can talk to people globally. And that's also very convenient in, in terms of communication. Yes. Yeah, uh, that, that's good. Uh, just not only know English and we can communicate worldwide, not just only study Vietnam, Thailand, uh, Myanmar, a lot of language. So just only study English is the best. And then, uh, a lot of kids, they love being a teacher, love being a doctor, and that's why they commit themselves to study in the me medical school. And how about Gigi? Are you planning to study that school as well? Uh, yes, well, I also have a dream to like, become a doctor, study medicine. But uh, there's, uh, there's three obstacles right now. Uh, the first one is I got uh, the scholarship from MOE uh, for computer science. Uh, I also love computer science. And between computer science and medicine, right now I need to make a really big decision, like which one I need to commit commit for. But uh, currently I'm also uh, doing the preparation for med medicine uh, and three exam. Uh, the second obstacle is that uh, between medicine and dentistry, I need to choose. Also, need to make decision because my family, like my uncle, lots of my uncle, they are uh, dentist. So they really, yeah, want me to be dentist as well. So, but I want to study medicine. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to gather more information right now and make a decision. And the third obstacle is that uh, I also have plan to uh, study bachelor in China. I also uh, plan to uh, put the MOE scholarship as well. Yes. So, so yeah. a lot of plans, yeah. a lot of plans. So I feel like uh, it's hard to make a decision because you have a lot of choice. For some girls, some students, they don't have choice. They are, that's why they are really hard to make a decision, but you have a lot of choice. So how about uh, Visna, any comment to both of them? 
actually not only you guys have this problem but also me and i would like to say and i i, I hope like after that you will be like me so firstly i just a bit to my story after i great uh graduate from high school i i prepare for uh, like engineering i itc i passed the exam and then i realized that when i was young i dreamed to be engineer and i love it the most i convinced my friend to come with me as well and by the way my friend study in itc and i dropped the school i changed school to the other one i study in oupp as a majoring in education for a year and i rely that i don't like it i drop school again and i moved to the other university which is an up with panyasasa university majoring in business administration you know how i am changing myself like this one day i reading a, a book it's about like us education like about the adult they convince their kid or adult to finding themselves so no matter how many year you are dropping school but you finding what you like do what you love finding your passion it's not about the other other is not study for you right the only you who study those major so do what you love the most don't follow the other my daddy want me to be teacher but i told him i don't like but one day i will become back because like in my life i have three rule you learn you earn and you return so one day i will be come back as a lecturer or something as well so i still can complete this one so the the thing is finding your passion what you really like the most but actually as i know you do many extra curriculum so it is easy for you to figure out what you what is your passion what is your real talent and do it like gigi you want to study medicine no matter what your daddy or something they talking that like dentists can earn a lot of money money is not about your happiness your happiness is about what you are loving and doing what you are love it is the best it's not about the money sometimes they say like this majoring can earn a lot of money but by the way between money and happiness which one you choose you get a lot of money but you keep doing your body like body thing that you don't like every day like mostly japanese people did it i go to work and i come back i go to work and i come back nothing no happiness at all so i want you guys just follow your heart do what you love and deliver to you and other as well firstly is finding your passion secondly is turn your passion into action and the third one is sustain your passion because sometimes your passion is not last long with you because you don't know how to sustain it because it takes some time to do it and last but not least you can change many school you waste some year but you will enjoy the whole life and one more thing you do something that you don't like and your life is boring boring which one you choose right so don't have stake is you feel like you're not comfortable to study it change to the other one that you comfortable and right now i i seen like many people they do the same to me and they success so i wish you can make a good decision about this one thank you okay so in mean like we have to follow our passion follow our love but sometimes love is changeable and we have a lot of love so which one that we should follow so chigi and suchita you have a lot of love on the careers of being uh, in the future Yeah, can can you share? Uh, anyway, can I ask Bong Visna a little bit? Yeah, sure. also about that too. Like, uh, sometimes our passion can change. Like, sometimes we love this, and and then we change to love other. And like my family, they said that, uh, do not follow your passion, but uh, like think of the marketing in the future. Yeah, put that in priority like how much you can earn something like that so because you can make yourself to love it and can you explain that for me? this one i just want to tell you every major every career is the best you can earn a lot if you are expert on it even teacher you can earn a lot it's not only just you you take your student in the school but you can finding the other way 
to finding money and also happiness. Like teacher, you can go uh, like, you know, like exam to be the official teacher under the government officer. You can take in high school. And by the way, your free time, you have a lot of free time. You can create an application or something, or you can be the YouTuber or something. It's not like, it's still low, right? So you can. That's why I say every career is the best for you if you are like really known well about it. It doesn't matter like, which I, I, I just want you to like that. Don't compare career. Like medicine will be earned a lot. Engineer will be earned a lot. It's, it doesn't mean about that. If you are really expert on it, you can earn a lot. You can create your own value as well sometimes. Like teacher, you can earn some money. You can create your own value. And if you extra your hour, you can earn more as well. That's why I think don't compare. Every major, every career can earn a lot the same to each other. Because like, you know, in the world, like many things you, can, you cannot imagine. Sometimes just the poor people can be the billionaire sometimes because like they do what they love and they do what is the unique or something like this. So I think like it's, it doesn't mean about like which major is important than the other one. It, it, you cannot compare about those stuff. Mostly like it also have their own value. It depends on you, the one who created to become something. Yes, good, good, Vishnu. Uh, actually, we have to follow our heart, but sometimes our heart is stupid. Sometimes we want to be a doctor, but sometimes we want to be an engineering, a, being a doctor, a, a teacher, a police, a lot of things. So, Suchita, have you experienced about that? Um, yes, I actually have experienced that. Uh, so many things. I wanted to, to be a doctor. I wanted to be a, an English teacher. I wanted to be a tour guide. I wanted to be a psychologist. Like, um, and I wanted to do many, so many things. And sometimes when I watch dramas, then you, you can see that the characters or the main characters do this job and it looks very exciting. So you want to do that. It's, it's sometimes like that. Um, when you see people enjoy doing that, you want to do that too because you think it's it's like always interesting and exciting. But don't don't forget that in dramas or in movies, they only portray the um, happy moments. I think like the they don't portray everything. They just portray some part, uh, just a small part of the the career. A trailer. So don't be swayed by that. Yes. Um, so yeah, I used to want to be so many things, but right now I think my number one uh, major is still medicine. I still want to be a doctor the most. Yeah. Okay. So how about Gigi? The same thing? Yes, both the same for me. Uh, like when I was studying uh, Chinese, I, I also dream to be tour guide, Chinese tour guide. I don't know what. Uh, I also want to be uh, like a banker. <laughs> like I go to ABA with my brother and I saw that they, they are so like dressing so well and so cool. <laughs> yeah. And I also want to be, uh, I used to want to be businesswoman, teacher. Yeah, a lot. Actress as well, actress. <laughs> I think they are so cool. Well, can I say something more? I, I just sure, want sure. to sure. do, I, I just want to do a storyboard for you. Like now, you know, my dream is about uh, engineer, I still can be in, in the engineer side. So I just want you to design your dream into like a, a period. I mean, like it is about planning. It should be short term and long term planning. You know what I mean? So like now, you know, like I, I talking about learn, earn and return. And the reason why I become, I, I study business because I, I uh, in the future, I want to be businessman, right? So in the field, you know, I can be in the uh, medical field by joining uh, with my friend, like you guys is the medicine or something, right? I can open the, 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 the like hospital, but I'm the one who run the business and you guys is the technical person for those two, like, you know, like, yeah, you can be, I can say doctor or something, but I'm the one just the manage, the manage, management team or something like this. And then I want like, I want to be like engineer field, right? So I want to build up a, construction company. So I don't have any feel about construction, but I have learned, just learned about the basic. And mainly it's about the business. I just the one who like interact between the client 
and the technical person, which is engineering or something like this. And one more, I also want to be the teacher, right? So in the future, I still can, but it's not now. So it is about like how far your dream is, when you want your dream become that. This is like you just design it into shot because you have many dreams, like it's an outline or a brainstorm. You just pick it up and put it in priority way. I mean, like which one you can do first? And secondly, certainly, it must be followed step to step. Like I want to be like the owner of the construction company, but how can I start? It's so far, right? So I have to do something before that. Like, okay, I can open a restaurant. I can open like a uh, uh, school or something. It's like little by little. It's step to step. No matter how many dreams you have, but you have to make it in order. So you can do it all those. Uh, it, it doesn't mean like you forget someone, but it might be step to step. So you can walk little by little, like you climbing by the stair or something. Yeah, it might be one step, second step and something like this. Yes, that is what I, I think. Yeah, so I mean, we have to put all our dream and then we have to prioritize which one is the best, right? And then uh, the rest could be happen as well when all those subjects is really connected. You know, when I was in high school, uh, I also want to be a doctor. I also want to be a police, but my uh, my high is not a, a police, <laughs> forget it. Uh, and I, I also want to be a, a teacher, many things. And then, but the thing that I cannot forget is I love in diplomatic way or foreign affairs or ASEAN or Europe or globally. That is what I love. So I researched a lot when I was in high school. Then when I we uh, study in university, I choose majoring in international relations. So in terms of ASEAN, EU, uh, foreign affairs, diplomatic, that is my scope. But after that, when I go to work, I work as a journalist. <laughs> okay. And then besides as a journalist, I'm also a debate and public speaking trainer. So it means that not all subject that we learn and then we work for that area. For some time, it related. For example, I'm a journalist, but I'm also covers on the ASEAN. I'm also covers on the politics, also the education area. So those kind of things also related to my major in university life. So in terms of debate, a lot of topic that we have to discuss and research. So it also related. So that is all uh, the beautiful lives of university and high school student. So are you ready? to fight in the university life, Chita and Chiji? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Uh, for you, any pressure from your family or your surrounding environment that you have to choose this subject because of that, something like that. I mean, like they have to put pressure on you on your making decision. Have you got it? Or is it affected to your decision or no? Chita or Chiji? Um, can I have the question again, teacher? In mean like, do you have any pressure from your family or uh, neighborhood or friends on choosing major or setting the goal of your life? Um, yes. So um, I would I would tell my parents that mom that I want to be a doctor so they would usually disagree because they would say that you are a girl it, it will be really hard for you to do that and usually people who who study medicine are men and you are a girl so it will be really difficult and it, you will have to study for a long long time for eight to ten years while while your friends are working and having families and they, they would say things like that so they would suggest me to uh, do other jobs which which is easy for example like women or women in Cambodia mostly they will do um, banking and they will work in bank they will suggest things like that like they would see in common uh, uh, but I still so like it, it's I mean it, it's not what I want to do so I will try to explain them and say that I want to do this and that so I, I promise them that um, if you give me a, a, a chance, I mean, I will study hard and, and pass the exam. So if I pass, you will let me study medicine. And they will say, okay, sure. So it's wow. what I do to um, like encourage them to agree with me. And yes, 
I am now fighting to um, get into medical school and I hope I get in, in it. Yes. I mean, like strong commitment with evidence based and result based to prove your family. Wow, amazing. How about Chi Yi? Yes, well, uh, for me, I also uh, I have some problem, like feeling a little bit pressure. more more louder, please, Chili. We cannot hear you. Can you hear me, Bo? Okay, okay. Yes, well, uh, for me, uh, it's not pressure, but uh, my family or my cousin, my uncle, they they just give me uh, some of their experience or ideas about that major, like medicine. So it's uh, it sounds not good to hear uh, like about that major, but I appreciate they uh, they give me some advice. So, but I still want to fight for it. Like, I tell my parents that uh, I want to try it. Please give me like please support me. You know, even though they want me to study dentistry, but. Please, I want to be a doctor. Uh, like, please let me study medicine. I will try my best. Yes. So I mean, you both are really lucky because you have a supportive family, and they really understand about you, about your commitment, about your passion. That is really uh, lucky for you. But unfortunately, for some students, yes, they don't have choice. Their parents really pressure them. Yeah, you have to be a teacher. Teacher is the best. Teacher is the best. So they have no choice. And they are poor, so they don't have enough money uh, to uh, continue their university life. So just only apply for being a teacher or being a police for some time. So they don't have much choice. But uh, differently, both of you, you have a lot of choice because what? Because you also have a good grade A and also your English performance are really amazing. And technology era, you know a lot in terms of app building, also uh, some recently updated of technology you also involve. This is a basic for all of you to join into the university. In terms of the uh, University of uh, Health Science, and Health and Science are also, also connected. So your science, your technology also uh, can be applied in the universities of health. And also other major also re uh, uh, really need those kind of skills. So, Vishnu, uh, or everybody, you have any comment for some of them? Because some of the poor people, poor, poor students or rural area students, now they are on the stage of uh, continue at university life. But their most challenges is English because their English is not really good. So they are really afraid about that. So any tip for them to improve in during this stage or area? Anyone? Okay, I I I I worry like but is I, I go first, I will like talk everything. So I just want you both go first. Okay, Gigi, please. Uh yeah, well for me, I think that uh, yes, uh about financial problem is uh, is really it's a really big problem. It's a really huge obstacle if you want to do something. But I suggest you to, uh, if you continue high school, to find scholarship because I think there's many scholarship out there, like uh, like the hundred percent. And also for English, uh, I think that it's never too late to start again to start doing anything again or to start improving even me i think that um my english also have limit i also need to improve too so i think that no matter what situation you are in like it's okay to start again and and i'm so proud of you like for starting uh doing it again and believe in yourself you will get improved every day yes and eventually you will be really good at it like when we snap or did that and one point, yeah, your English is really good. I know you have practiced a lot. Yes. Thank you, Bob. Okay, thank you. How about you, Tai? Mm, I also have the same ideas as Ji Yi. Um, like, you can start now. If you want to improve, it's the best time is to start now. Like the COVID that said, 
if not now when if not me who so you have you must start now if you, um it's like the best time you can start practicing talking with your friends or your families or uh, if you can't afford to um, take private school, you can also learn from YouTube videos because now the technology is very modern. You can learn so many things. You can um, have so many resources from YouTube. You can learn English from YouTube. You can even listen to English music or chatting with people, with other people using English. It's, it's like there are so many resources available for you. And what you need to do is just start now and commit to yourself that and believe that you can do it, do it and always um i mean like always practice and believe in yourself and i also believe that you can do it wow so both of you also believe in uh, each other as well so uh Visna, uh back to your past in high school was your english good or uh, intermediate or advanced or you just start at university and then you can get the scholarship at uh, Japan? Actually, I I, all, I just want to go back, you know, like, uh, because like I'm from very rural areas, rural province is a uh, pilot province. It's so far from the capital city. And, you know, like it's so lack of the school of English. You know, when I was young, I study in church, but it's Catholic for free because like I don't have choice. So my English very lack. And my exam is not that good. I just got to see something about English and then I cannot speak. But when I come to the university, I commit myself because like I saw many people can speak English very well. Why not me? Why? I did a question that I, I asking why. And one more thing is why people have the same hour, 24 hour a day and live into different result because of what? So I start with vice and I commit myself to study in like the school. And it's not about like the good school. It's not about like the standard school. It's not about like expensive school, but it just school best that can share you the good tip to study English. And one more thing is start from yourself. If you don't commit to study, you don't have like uh, anything. Why you study English for what? And then how can you improve yourself? It is very important. And the, 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 the answer that I told to myself why I have to study English is about the four main points. The first is education, like we mentioned, like English is very important for university. And secondly, is future career. I also, like, you know, Cambodia right now is regionally like ASEAN. So in the future, we will be have like more priority for those who can speak English or, or more than that. And the other one is also entertainment, like Kita said, we can list in uh, like in the time by listen to music we can like gain more knowledge by reading book because you know like reading book is helpful it's not about like you know about many things but also improve your english as well but if how come if you don't know english something like that and last is about communication it is very important and very inspired me you know like among many people we can communicate with the foreigner how come it's so hard something like this and so I think like I spent uh, two years in university by studying English and, you know, I talking alone all the time because like at the time I riding bicycle from school, something like that. And I speak alone. And one day I just, you know, I realized that many people looking at me, but I don't care because what I care is improving my English. So no matter people looking at me, I don't care. Just, you know, believe confident in and myself and speaking English, something like this. And one more thing is about like, uh, if you don't have money, so how can, like I mentioned, it's not about school, but you must start from little first. I mean, like start from your, I mean, like your balance. So how much you can afford for it? Don't excuse. Sometimes you can working for part-time job if you don't have like financial support. Ask Bong Pek, right? You spend for many years and support yourself. Yeah, something like that. And even me, I working since I was like grade two. I mean, like uh, second year as uh, as the part time job and support myself because like it's very important if you don't have money. And one more thing is uh, I just go back to Chita or uh, Chiji is about if you don't have uh, money to study those major you want, what should you do? It's many ways. 
because like before I don't rely, but now I rely that if you really have potential or, or like talented, you must be find the opportunity to find those dream. Like you want to study medical, of course in Cambodia you spend a lot because you cannot get a scholarship, right? But one more way is about find, find the fund. Like Chipmong or some other good company that they provide uh, fund, funding support. And one more thing is scholarship to up, abroad. Because like it's in Cambodia expensive, apply for the scholarship to other country like even Vietnam or Thailand or something. You can study medical as well, right? And support by the Thailand government or Vietnam government. This one also the good way, but why don't you? It's not you then who? It's not now then when? It's the one that I will like, you know, keep in my mind as well. It might be start from you because like those opportunities those opportunity no one bring for for you only you who go to finding it and one more thing because i can't speak english and it's my time to apply for the scholarship to japan and when i do interview i can finding it english speaking is very important because you have to make other understand what your speak is what you speak about what is your mistake to them something like this and then I don't have any more, but I, I, I still like you have to find your direction where you want to go. You find your balance, how much you can do it. And last is believe in yourself. So it mean it's not about excuse, but it's about starting or not. And then uh, where should we start? Uh, this kind of question from our audience, uh, Hum Sei Hong. Uh, also mentioned, uh, I'm not sure she or he from rural area and she or he will continue at Pepe uh, for university life and then she, she asked where should she or he improve English. So some of our speaker from Chiji and Chita and also Vishna also mentioned, if you don't have an enough money, you can work for part-time job. If you don't have a part-time job, you also improve English by uh, social media, YouTube, audio, books, or wherever that you can practice your English. You have to live with the surrounding environment that's speaking English. Without that, it's hard. It's really hard for you to speak and uh, to improve your English. You know, I'm also the one that studied when I was a uh, adult, not uh, was a little uh, child like all of you. So my English is not really good as well. But when I'm joining, uh, I was joining uh, ASEAN Youth uh, Representative or also uh, ASEAN uh, even a chain program. I saw a lot of potential from each country and some of them, they cannot speak English well as well. It's okay. But for me, I have to make sure that I always put my effort and always active in that event to make sure they said they they think yes Cambodian youth are really amazing yeah even though their English is not really good yet but their idea their commitment the way that they act in the event is really impressive this is what I can do but if my English is more proficiency than that I do believe they will admire our Cambodian youth so back to our speaker any more uh, comment or suggestion to all of them because we don't have uh, more time. We run out of our time right now. So any last message from all of you? Start from uh, Chi Yi. Yes, well, okay. So for me, uh, first of all, I would love to say thank you so much for having me today. Yes, it's a great honor. <laughs> and also uh, help me to get out of my comfort zone as well. <laughs> So, uh, for me, I have uh, like a short message to, uh, especially to a new 12th grader, which is uh, uh, like two things. It's about habits and mindset. So, habits and mindset is really important. So, about habits is that uh, you have to learn every day and just learn a little bit, but you have to learn it every day. And you have you have to be uh, disciplined and be consistent. Uh, and also about mindset is that uh, do not say something negative to yourself. Yes, because negative self-talk will make it only make you feel down. 
Yep. And importantly, do not compare yourself to other people. Like we all have different journey. And also, uh, we, we are all are different. And we also have our own goods and other people have their own strong point like that. Sometimes uh, we know this and they don't know it, you know. And it's okay. Just uh, keep in mind that uh, just be yourself and do not compare yourself to other people. For example, if you see other people wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. to study, but you cannot do it, don't say that you are useless or you are not good enough something. It's just because you are good in other way, like you are study at night. Maybe that's uh, better for you. Yeah, so do not compare yourself to other people. It, it's only make you feel down if you think it in negative way. And yeah, be consistent. Just learn every day. Basically, uh, if you know the basic, well, like uh, no matter what subject, if you know the basic well, just learn a little bit every day. Do not learn too hard. Do not put too much pressure. You will do well at the exam, at the uh, national exam. But if you think that your basic is not really good yet, uh, like put some more effort into it and you will do well and believe in yourself. You can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so your turn, your turn. Yes, um, for me, I also would like to say thank you to Charles Bush for this um, opportunity. And it's really nice to have Wong Wisna and to you here. Also, thanks to the people who are watching this live today. Um, I only have a short message for new 12th graders is that I want to say that take, take good care of yourself, eat healthy food, and also start studying from the beginning of the year by using the smart technique, study smart. And, and after you study and you have put a lot of efforts in your class, don't forget to allow yourself to have free time, hang out with your friends, go eat something you enjoy as a reward for yourself, um, for your hard working. And I also believe that you can do it. And grade A is waiting for you. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, grade A is not waiting for me anymore. So back to Visna. No more why you say A not bad thing for you. You get a lot in university, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absent. <laughs> no, sir. Won't pick a lot A, you know. So <laughs> But the four year <laughs> mostly only C B C B. Oh no, sir. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I don't get A in high school, but you know, like in university, I'm really success. I almost 90% A. And yeah, so it's so good. And I turn from my past experience into that. And one more thing is like uh, for my, I think like I just want to say thank you to Wong Pei as well that having me today and I can meet uh, new people here is Jita and Julius, like really potential is compared to me in the past. In the high school, I'm not that active. I just act too when I'm in university. I've been volunteer or something as well. And yeah, volunteer or joining any extra curriculum is really help, helpful for you to finding yourself, finding your passion because you can like show up your potential in many areas different. Sometimes you say like volunteer, it doesn't help you anything. It, it doesn't provide you any benefit. But honestly, it's fully of personal development, uh, developing. And that is what I have been so far. And for my advice to you guys is like, uh, don't excuse a lot. I keep saying it's one and you have to start. Every minute is, you know, very important to you because like those success people, they really good at managing their time. So you also, because like timing is very important for those who not good in time management, it might be turned into the bad. Habit, like uh, Chiyot mentioned, is habit is start from you doing little thing from day to day, it becomes your habit. And one more thing is like, don't use social, like, I mean, like, don't make social media use you. I mean, like, every day, you must be the one who use social media. You have to limit your time or using it. Not all the time you just click on it, you feel be feel pressure or sometimes it's 
it's not that good, right? If you cannot live without social media or something like this. And one more thing is going small. Don't think it like too big and you start so big. Going small, think smart, you start small. And is Jita and Chiji can get A, why not you? Yeah, it, it should be that, right? So I think success is equal to your passion plus your skill. Thank you, Bo. Okay, uh, thank you, Visna, uh, JG, and also Chuchita for joining us tonight. That is a really fruitful discussion, and we share a lot of ideas and perspective. Actually, you already know and listen to our previous speakers, is uh, Suchita and JG. They already got A, and then how A, and also how English and technology really affect you into uh, their applying into the scholarship and also in the university life. It's really beautiful. So. They also share us about uh, how uh, to get A, how to study in English in university lives and also uh, other tips. But uh, before we end, we also say sorry for any mistake. And then uh, if we have any mistake, please. Uh, and then this, we, we don't have any more questions from our audience. So we should uh, finish our discussion and say goodbye to our audience for spending while you time to listen to listening to our uh, discussion thank you hope to see you again everyone